What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. want to give you guys this quick update. Now, Bob Arum up top rank is stating that for the end of this year, he would like to make Timothy Desert Storm Bradley versus Brandon Bam Bam Rios. And I want to talk about the prospects of this potential fight. Now, a couple years ago, I really wanted to see this fight, but some things have changed. And to me, this is not necessarily the fight that I feel Bradley needs. If you look at Bradley's last couple of fights, he's fighting guys like Diego Chavez, Jesse Vargas, and then now if they make the Brandon Rios fight, I, I just feel like Brand Brandon Rios, he has more to prove at welterweight. Now, he he's a good fighter. He's a solid fighter. But you look at his best win, his best win at welterweight is against Mike Alvarado, who wasn't a welterweight, who was coming up in weight. Plus, he was coming off of back-to-back -back losses, one stoppage loss to Ruslan, and then he got dominated by Marquez and knocked down in that particular fight. And then Brandon Rios destroyed him in the third fight, and I was at that fight live. So, Brandon Rios just hasn't, to me, done anything at welterweight to to be the meaningful player. I think he has more to prove at that division. Fought Pacquiao, got shut out, and then later tested positive in that particular fight. And then he had a, a close competitive fight with Diego Chavez on my scorecard up until the disqualification. I had Diego Chavez winning. I don't think Rios looked that great after a long layoff and suspension. So, Bradley, he just, I feel like Bradley's already proven his worth and he, he proved that he could fight at an elite level so I would rather see him in there with elite level names the Amir Khans and guys like that Keith Thurman Kell Brook now they were talking about making Bradley versus Saddam Ali who I thought was the mandatory challenger for the newly earned belt the WBO belt that Bradley got the vacant belt that he got by beating Jesse Vargas and now, I guess Bob Aaron feels it's easier to make an in-house fight. Two top-ranked fighters, Brandon Rios and Timothy Bradley. You guys let me know if you're excited for this. It's not set in stone, but it's a potential fight, and obviously Bob Aaron's the boss. If he does make this, let me know what you think. Is this a meaningful fight for Bradley? Stylistically, it's not a bad fight. Brandon Rios and Bradley, neither of them are really in boring fights, but I just don't think it's necessarily... Bradley's last couple of fights haven't been meaningful fights that, to me, will get him raised on the pound-for-pound -pound ranking. Diego Chavez got stopped by Keith Thurman. He's a good fighter, but it's not the types of fights that I think Bradley should be in. I think Bradley has proven his worth. He has a deep resume. And let him be in those meaningful fights like Saddam Ali and some of the ones I mentioned earlier. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you like this fight, Rios versus Bradley, and what you think of it if it does come into fruition in 2015 drop me a comment make sure you like my video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off